dying like bundles back in the d oh shit back in the day if you were a dying like pvp player and techline released a new bundle it was time to start praying because we didn't know if it was gonna break the game even more or it'd be the next useless thing in the game and for the most part the bundles didn't bring much to the table aka just being shit but there were a few bundles that came and instead of bringing nothing to the table they straight up just fucking broke it. I'm talking WWE style, lift your ass up, and then just straight up slam your ass on the table. The first bundle to do this was the Volatile one. I don't really remember its name, but it's the one with the cool glowing outfit. This one kinda gently put you on the table and like, I don't know, maybe push your stomach in a little bit. Didn't break it that much. However, the one thing that it does change is that when you use the Volatile Hunter knife and you set the nest on fire with it, it would act like a flare, but only to the virals though, nothing else. And this was only the beginning. Yeah, this little buff would be pretty annoying to go against because it would make the virals essentially useless but as we'll come to learn later in this video it gets a lot worse this bundle is a basically 5 out of 10 on the how broken it's a scale yeah it's annoying but it's also understandable to some degree now for this next bundle we're going from a 5 out of 10 to maybe a 6 maybe 7 on a good day we're going on to the astronaut bundle that's right we are going on. now i like anything space related so when this bundle came out i was instantly a sucker for it the problem is when i put the outfit on i'm giving myself an advantage so i can't just use it because i like it you see as most of you may not know the night hunter's main form of attacking is not the pounce like ground pound it's actually the tackle it's his most versatile move set and he could use it to combo into any other ability he has you combine this with the fact that it's a Pycoy game and now you're tossing people off rooftops. But if you put on the astronaut outfit, essentially what it does is make you take less fall damage, thus nerfing the Night Hunter's main way of attacking. Now the amount of reduced fall damage it is isn't a whole lot, but it's just enough to give you an edge. So like I said earlier, it's a 6 out of 10, maybe 7. However, for the next bundle, we're instantly going to a 10 out of 10. Shit, I might be underestimating it even. It's probably a hundred out of ten. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You probably even thought it was gonna be the first bundle I mentioned when you click on this video. The Van Crane Bundle. When you see someone with this outfit on, you know they hate something that has a smile on it. When you put on this outfit, you are granted the ability to pull back your weapon after you throw it. But this only works with one-handed weapons, not two hands. And if you play Dying Light for more than, I don't know, two seconds, then you'll realize that throwing your weapon is one of the most OP things you could do, whether it be PvE or PvP wise. Now, there is somewhat of a catch, if you even want to call it that. You see, throwing your weapon, you can't pull it back instantly until some certain factors are met. Factors being whether you hit something or a certain amount of time has passed. And until that happens, you are vulnerable, which means the Night Hunter could easily go in for an attack. But here's the thing though this certain time of vulnerability is only ever bad if you decide to throw your weapon pretty far which is not practical at all so there's no reason of doing that so everyone knows it's better to just throw it close because even if you miss or hit something you're just gonna instantly get your weapon back you don't need to have that state of vulnerability and all it takes is for one throw to connect and all of a sudden if you were wondering yeah the weapon still does a lot of damage even if it's broken from what you just saw you're probably thinking that the van crane bundle is as bad as it gets now one thing that i talked about was fair and balanced but holy shit there is just one more bundle that takes it to another level the diesel punk bundle here's the funny story of the diesel punk bundle it introduces the chainsaw which is a weapon the community wanted ever since the following dlc was released and at the time 
That weapon was such a dog shit thing to use in PvP. Here's even a clip of me talking about it back then. The chainsaw's fucking ass cheeks barely does any damage to the nest, nor the hunter. You're better off tickling them to death with a feather. But something happened that I did not expect. Techland ended up seeing the video of me talking shit about the chainsaw, then proceeded to buff the ever living shit out of it. Look at this. Words cannot explain how broken the chainsaw is now. And you know what's the best part? Techland announced that their support for Dying Light 1 is over, so essentially this chainsaw is gonna be like this for the rest of time. Unless Techland, you know, you watch this video and you wanna go back in and change it, by all means go do that, but PvP has a lot more problems than just a chainsaw. But man, I don't even blame them if they don't even want to touch PvP. Anyways, those are the bundles that really fuck up Dying Light's PvP. There are some other ones that still give you a little bit of an advantage, but it isn't as crazy as the ones I mentioned. I really enjoy making these type of videos. And if you enjoyed it too, make sure to subscribe as I do have more ideas similar to this one in the future.